Hello everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectible. It is January 3rd, it is 6 degrees out, ambient temperature, and uh, had 5 to 6 inches of snow on the ground, had a winter storm roll through on uh, Saturday mainly, a couple days ago. Um, so, as you can see, got a little white stuff on the ground, 6 degrees, and my mini split is doing fantastically well. I got it set at 70 because there is a little bit of a chill in the air even at that. Uh, but it's working. My last unit would quit at 20 degrees above. That's the only reason I replaced it because it was still doing well. It just wouldn't heat down below 20 degrees. So very grateful to have that and that it's working fine. My sister said um, hey we like your unboxing videos but you gotta you got to show people what these things are selling for. So, uh, Mondays are usually very busy uh, with a lot of packing. I try and get my packages out by 9.30, 10 o'clock for my rural carrier uh, to pick up uh, at my mailbox. Not going to happen today. I've got too many orders. Uh, it's holiday weekend, so it was pretty busy. So, bear with me. I've never done this. There will probably be a few edits as I fumble around doing this. But I'll give it my best shot. Uh, all these things I'm uh, talking to you about uh, have sold through my eBay store. Uh, mostly toys. I don't think I'm going to pull every single thing here because there's too many of them. But uh, it all includes, or does not include shipping. So it's a sold price uh, plus shipping on it. So let's get started. The first one I'm going to pull is the uh, Pokemon. Oh, and there he is right on top. Pokemon, Brock, and Vulpix. And that sold for, oh, where is it? There we go, down at the bottom there. $95. Okay. So, that one, Brock and Vulpix, 95 bucks. So let's go back. I had to put my phone down, so now i got to go back and grab my phone here and see what my next, ouch, I just got to, Shock, a lot of dry air this time of time of year. And let's see what else. I know I got a bunch more toys. Okay, we'll skip those for now because those are gonna take me a while to pull. Sold a bunch of postcards, Mercury postcards, Mercury car postcards, I should say. So Hasbro Batman Beyond Covert Batman. That should be the yep, there it is, right there. I don't know if you can see that just sticking out. And that was eight dollars. Eight dollars plus shipping. Neat figure. That's the one I was surprised. They thought maybe they put it in wrong, upside down, but uh, they didn't. They were all that way. So let's see what do we got. Ooh, man, I shock myself every time here. What do we got left? Oh, He-Man. Now these were just in some of the uh, latest videos. I gotta find the. Oh, here they are. They're up here. Got to find the stack. I sold quite a few of these. These are the ones I thought, oh, 15, 20 bucks a piece. Right. Yeah, I kind of underestimated that. Not that one. Not yet. I need Staghorn. There we go. So Staghorn here. He-Man Staghorn. $75. A little more than 15 or 25 that's for sure. And let's see, what are the other ones here? These are all... Um, from that latest box. Oh, Beetleborg's Chromium Gold. I think he is down here. And there it is. Chromium Gold. And what did he sell for? So there it is, new in the box. Beetleborg Chromium Gold. Must be a 12 inch figure. 95. $95 on that. So we'll pick him up. And put him over here. And then I'm back to uh, Motu. Masters of the Universe uh, He-Man. Now this is not the Thunder Punch one. This is the standard He-Man. Oh, that's Optic. Oh, is this him? Yeah, I think this is him. Nope, that's Kale. By golly. Uh, nope. Nope. Ah, here we go. He-Man. There's the next one. He-Man. New Adventures. 135. 
that's not the thunder punch that I guess is the regular one I don't know but 135 on that 135 on that let's see who's next here I got a bunch of comics those take a while to pull blue stinger Beetleborgs blue stinger for 80 bucks and there he is right there I don't know if you can see it there we go eighty dollars for the blue stinger Beetleborg and let's see oh the Star Wars Trade Federation tank oh here it is right in front of me Trade Federation tank model kit that wasn't too bad twelve dollars is that right sixteen dollars sixteen dollars on the Star Wars Episode 1 droid tank okay let's see get the phone out here okay Star Wars episode one electronic well I'm trying to read what this is here oh it looks like it's uh is that the com chip reader yep Comtech chip reader I think is right yeah it is it's right here I gotta get see if I can sneak this one out I don't want to dump the whole thing over, but it's going to... I knew it. I knew it was going to go over. We'll straighten it up here in a little bit. I didn't really expect these to sell super well. $15. $15 on the Comtac reader. And let's see. I got my mess. I got to straight out. I don't, I don't like that. Transformers Millennium Falcon action figure. That should be... Let's see, where did I put that? You guys are probably going to see it before I am. And the uh, Transformers Millennium Falcon action figure set was $50. $50. So now I just got to find where I put the darn thing. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's up top. It got lost with the X Wings. So there we go. 50 bucks for that. So that's pretty good. Happy with that. Happy with all these. I'm, I can't complain. You know, not everything's going to sell for a middle, million bucks. Oh, and I got another model kit. Another uh, droid tank. So, i got to pull him. Now, I'm out of these on uh, eBay. That's my last one on the eBay shelf. But, I don't know if you can see it. I got one. It's upside down. I got one sitting right there. And I think I got another box full of them. Whoop box full of those so we'll have some more coming I just gotta get those relisted I usually do the relisting after I do the uh, packaging then I go back through and update the inventory Hasbro G.I. Joe 40th anniversary Frogman Sailor Frogman collection where did I put those that was a uh, boy I think that was just out of the last boxes I did I wonder if I even put them on the shelf oh yep there they are they're behind my, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. So down here, there's the Action Sailor with the Frogman collection. Uh, right there, and let's see, that was $90. Boy, that's a nice kit. I really like those anniversary kits. I know they're remakes, but they're all complete, and they're packaged really, really well. Uh, so I like those. So it was $90 for that. Oh, another He-Man, Tuscador. Now, this is interesting. This is an error figure. No, oh, that's not him. Here he is. Error figure. So, Tuscador, 135. Um, he's missing the gun. Uh, see, if you've seen the pic there, he's supposed to have a gun. Uh, and this is sealed. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no breaks or cracks or chips. And the it's, it hasn't been re-glued. It's very clean border on it they just did not put the uh, the pistol in with it but still 135 for the Tuscador without the pistol on that okay pulled the rest of the orders the non uh, action figure orders just thought I'd show you quick what I uh, what else I had today I uh, got some postcards these are all uh, the mercury uh, promo dealer cards unused on the back and they're they're not expensive four bucks a piece and I got some comics here and they're probably three bucks a piece don't look at the prices on them I didn't get that out of them uh, about three bucks a piece on these Spidey's always good always always sell a lot of spider-man 
on that. So I sold a bunch of spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, 1931 Capper's Farmer with the Christmas cover, the mom kissing her uh, son under the mistletoe. And here's a, these are neat. I don't sell a lot of them, but it's a lobby card. There's only three. There should be eight. Uh, that's Sergeant Pepper's lobby card. Again, not a high dollar item. And the Saturday Evening Post, I think that was like five, five bucks or something like that. So that's it. Uh, if you like the uh, videos of me, um, I guess, going through my eBay sales and, and picking stuff, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to shoot some more. Won't do it every day, but uh, we'll do it once in a while, once a week or so maybe, if that's what you like. Check out our other unboxing videos. Should have some more uh, mystery action figure boxes coming up here really, really soon. And hopefully by the end of the month, I'll be getting back to comics. So that's the goal is to get the uh, office in order and, uh, and start doing some comic searches. Uh, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.